Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Justine. If you are new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up, what's goody, what's good? Today's video is a very special video, very close to my heart, okay? I'm gonna be showing you guys my fully furnished luxury studio apartment tour, yay! <laughs> oh my God, it's literally been like 12 months of the making. I'm about to make one year in Los Angeles. I moved last year in the end of July, like literally July 30th from New York City to Los Angeles, California into my beautiful studio apartment that I have here in downtown LA. If you guys have been following me on YouTube for that long, if you've been subscribed, then you know. If you've been watching my weekly vlogs and you see my apartment just kind of transform over the past year, it started out like literally empty with not an ounce of furniture or anything in here and it's just grown to what it is now and I'm so I'm so proud of myself. I'm so happy because I, I did it all on my own and it's an amazing thing to have, you know? Like, it's something to be proud about. So, I can't wait to let you guys in just on everything that I've done to my space. Hopefully you love my space as much as I do. I'm very, very happy and pleased with it. And I'm like looking around as I'm doing this intro because I just can't believe that like this is all mine. <laughs> um, I just feel so much gratitude um, to you guys watching, to anyone watching this, to anyone subscribed, YouTube, follow me on Instagram, anybody that comments, likes my videos, shares my videos. And none of this would be possible if it wasn't for you guys watching. So I just want to say thank you and yeah let's just get into this apartment tour because i know you guys are excited i'm excited ah! oh my gosh okay so if you're looking forward to finding out where everything i purchased home decor wise um is from then make sure you keep watching of course don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up down below go ahead and smash the like button for me it helps me out a lot um, you can also go ahead and click that subscribe button turn on your post notifications join the tribe we're growing we're on our way to 100k I love you guys so much and yeah let's just get right into it. okay so I'm obviously one person I live by myself so this video is gonna be very like handheld vlog style I'm gonna be talking to you guys talking through everything this is my front door this very very tall door dark wood um, I have a little peephole out in the hallway I have a doorbell um, this door is very heavy and I just really like it it closes and it kind of has like a soft close which is nice so you know no slamming doors I don't like slamming doors <laughs> um, I do want to say that if I don't remember where something is from well despite if I don't remember where it's from or not everything absolutely everything will be linked down below in the description box so make sure you check out the description box before you ask um, where something's from because nine times out of ten ten times out of ten the link will be there if it's not I will definitely add it if there's something that I forget but everything will be linked down below in the description box I got this magnetic key keychain holder from Amazon I absolutely love this thing so much because I come in and if I have a thousand bags because I went to the supermarket or I went shopping or I just have a bunch of packages in my hand or just literally anything even if I have nothing in my hands my keys always 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 go here I never mis misplace my keys before um, I had this I was throwing them in my junk drawer which we're not gonna get to that was just like really hectic to have them in a drawer because I felt like I was just like constantly looking for them this this was like an, an amazing purchase and I don't remember how much it was but it was very inexpensive like I said it was from Amazon prime shipping and yeah literally like I love this thing so much my keys just everyone has metal keys so it's like hello that's amazing so absolutely love that the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was this like um, strip that I actually placed on the bottom of my door so I don't know I'm very like weary about 
like bugs or like weird smells or anything like trying to come underneath my door. There wasn't like a huge gap there, but there was a gap. So I actually bought a roll of this like plastic, uh, I, have, I wanna say it's called a doorstop, but I, I really don't know the technical name for it, but I also bought that off of Amazon. It was very inexpensive, and you just measure it out to the door, you clean the door with a little alcohol, and then you stick it on, and it really just like stops any smells from like coming in, but also exiting my apartment, and I also feel like it helps with the sound too, um, because it's like very thick, so I really like that. And I always have people remove their shoes when they come in because I frequently clean my floors, so my floors aren't dirty. Um, so I have everyone remove their shoes. So I just have my gym sneakers and I have some slides and then like my running errand sneakers right here. To the right of the door, I have some cabinetry. My kitchen is actually right here to the right of my front door. So this is what my kitchen looks like. Um, I have several things in these cabinets, like honestly, just a bunch of stuff. I have like my dry goods in these two. Um, I have all of like my spices and my canned goods in this cabinet. On this little section of my kitchen, I have my cutlery. Um, I bought this off of Amazon as well. I absolutely love this knife set. The knives are extremely sharp and it actually came with a knife sharpener. It came with that, it came with a pair of scissors um, and then several different types of knives, like literally. And I keep that right there because if an intruder tries to bust in, he's gonna just grab my knife and just I'm kidding, I'm not promoting violence at all, but you know, you gotta you gotta know where your stuff is at when you need it. So I bought this off of Amazon, and I just like that it's like a light colored set. I love the white. I feel like it looks very clean, um, and I feel like it goes with the rest of my kitchen decor, which I'm gonna get to. Here I just have like hand sanitizer that I keep like right by the door. Um, I have some air freshener, this is a breeze, and then I have my um, electronic bottle opener, wine opener. This one is like, it's really cool. You just press this button up or down and it, it uncorks or can recork a bottle. It's so cool. And then I have um, my stove and my microwave. Um, above my microwave, I have my air fryer. Oh, the piece that's missing is in the dishwasher. <laughs> um, and I have my Nutribullet up there that I use to make smoothies almost every single day. Microwave, I have these little cork um, placemats, I guess you would call them, that I got from Ikea. And my teapot that's also from Ikea. Um, oven, and then here we have more cabinets, I know I just have dishware in here. And then underneath my sink, I have like all of my cleaning products. So I have cleaning products in these bins, my um, garbage bags, I have reusable bags in here, and then I have a bag of plastic bags because everybody got a bag of more bags inside. <laughs> On my countertop, I have my utensils in this very nicely labeled utensil jar that I purchased from Home Goods. Um, all of these utensils, literally like most of them were all from the same set. This set that I have with the rose gold um, handles I got off of Amazon and then I have some like miscellaneous ones that I think I got from Ikea. So I just have that sitting there because I'm frequently, you know, going to grab utensils from when I'm cooking on the stove. And then right next to it, I have my paper towel holder. This I know I got from Target, from Target. It's a little um, brass paper towel holder. I absolutely love it. It's very sleek looking and just clean. Um, you guys are gonna notice that my color scheme for pretty much most of the apartment is brass, um, cream colors, and like white and black. That's my entire aesthetic. Um, 
So everything is kind of like one of those colors. And then I have my sink here. I absolutely love my sink. I love this. I don't know. This just makes me feel like like I can remove it so I have like a hose and it's like really flexible. The power on my sink very nice i just love it i feel like it looks so sleek i feel like i i'm inside of like a restaurant like a really fancy like kitchen or something <laughs> i absolutely love it oh i forgot to say that this um carving board is from ikea and then over here i just have like um i normally charge my camera batteries in this outlet i don't know this is like the camera charging area that i <laughs> have designated this corner to be so I usually just have like all my camera stuff kind of sitting well not all of it but the batteries and stuff and like extra wires and whatnot sitting here um, and then I also have like my whatever bottles of liquor or wine I have that are open they sit right here on my countertop so right now I have some henny because you know I'm from New York so you know like I need the bottle of Eddie you always gotta have henny on deck <laughs> I got some Jose Cuervo I actually don't even drink this I don't know why I have this I think I bought it because someone else was drinking or wanted alcohol I don't even know but I don't even use that I don't even drink Jose Cuervo but whatever um, I have a bottle of cab and then I have these two bottles of wine that my dad actually got for me last year when I moved in. Um, this is E40's wine brand that he came out with and this has like 40% alcohol volume and I'm scared to open it. Also, I just think they're both really pretty so I don't touch them, I just let them sit there. But he kind of, he got those for me like right after I moved in, like a warm, a housewarming gift. So shout out to my dad, thanks dad. Right underneath my alcohol area, I have my dishwasher. Um, I never had a dishwasher prior to living in this apartment and it took me literally, I kid you not, it took me the first five months of me living here to use this. Like, I was like, I don't need a dishwasher. Like, I'm one person, I don't accumulate that many dishes. Like, I can hand wash, and I was hand washing for the first five months. And then I was like, girl, let's start using a dishwasher. So I started using it, and it's so easy. I always put it on one hour wash, and it's like, I just load all of my dishes in there. I stopped doing dishes once I started using my dishwasher. I'm obsessed. Like. I always need one of these. This is amazing. Like, why didn't anyone tell me? And then here also, I forgot to mention, these rags that I have um, hanging in my kitchen are all from Ikea. Um, I normally just have like one to dry my hands and then I have some to like dry any countertop spillage or water or whatever. Up here above the sink, I have cereal and like granola and my protein powder and I have an uh, an empty ice tray that I keep up there. Inside of this cabinet, I have my cups, uh, wine glasses, and then I have mugs and my thermoses all the way on the top. These mason jars I got from Amazon and I recently got them and I'm obsessed with them. They're very cute. I got six for like $12, I think. Uh, so it's like $2 each. These wine glasses without the stem are also one of my absolute faves. I got these from Target. Um, and then I had two of these wine glasses with the stem, but I broke the other one which prompted me to get the one without the stem because I broke it because of the stem. So, and I know this was from Ikea. These cups, I have way more of these, but they're all in the dishwasher actually. Um, these are from Target as well. And then above my, ooh, this is gonna be very empty actually. I know it is, Oh damn. All my dishes are in the dishwasher and I'm not gonna show you because they're dirty, but whatever. Um, <laughs> and here is where I keep my dishware. So I normally have like a full stack of plates. I have um, my ceramic plates and then I have plastic plates, but they're dirty. <laughs> um, and then I have these bowls that I got ooh, from Target that I absolutely love because they're square. I love serving food in those. like. I just absolutely love it. 
Honestly, the presentation just looks like 10 times better because of the shape of the bowl. Uh, these are from Ikea. Just got some regular, you know, deep cereal bowls. They're not like super big or anything. And then I have plastic bowls as well that sit right here. And then I have my meal prep containers all the way up there and I have like like miscellaneous items like ramekins um, and Pyrex dishes that normally go up there. The meal prep containers I got off of Amazon. I will have them linked down below. I absolutely love them. They're sectioned out so there's three sections and each section has like the serving size on it so you can portion out your food um really nicely and yeah and then above my fridge i just have paper towels in that cabinet so i'm not gonna show you guys that but then we come to my refrigerator i don't want like a bunch of crap on my refrigerator <laughs> honestly the receipts hanging is kind of giving me anxiety but i'm gonna leave it because i need those there's coupons on them <laughs> um right after i moved my mom sent me a care package and in the care package were these little magnets that say i love new york and the other one says brooklyn every time i look at these it kind of just reminds me of home um my mom's fridge is like covered in magnets um, and photos of us as like children me and my sister so this kind of just reminds me of like home and my mom and it's like kind of cute and like bittersweet you know <laughs> I believe the term for this kind of fridge is French doors if I'm not mistaken but I absolutely love it I like um, refrigerators that have like a door that opens my fridge is extremely empty right now so there's literally like no reason to even open it because it's so empty that's my refrigerator and then in the bottom i have my freezer and i have a bunch of crap in there so on the other side of my kitchen i have this door here which is the bathroom um, and then I have this calendar. So a lot of my shopping that I was doing at one point was off of Instagram. Like I was um, seeing a lot of promoted sponsored posts for home decor because I think I like Google searched something like one time and then after that they just kept showing me um, home decor, especially like home decor that was my aesthetic. And when I say my aesthetic, I mean like the brass, like a lot of things were like brass or gold or cream colored, which was like so funny because Google is just like, literally watching me like a hawk they were like she's gonna like this and they kept showing me on instagram so this calendar i purchased off of instagram it was literally an ad and i was like oh my god that's so cute i wanted a calendar but i more specifically wanted something to go here to cover the electrical box that's behind it so i have like you know the the switches i think <sighs> I don't know what the technical term is for anything, but I have that thing on the wall that you flip for all of the <laughs> for all of the lights and stuff to reset everything. I think it's the the switch box or that's on the wall and for a very long time like it's gray and it was just there and it, it bothered me a lot and I was just like I need something that is going to cover it but then also like would be purposeful. I could have just gotten like a painting and covered it but I thought it would have been weird because it's kind of low on the wall. So I put this calendar here. The calendar actually has a clear um, background. Like this is plastic and it's see-through. It's completely see-through. Um, but because I wanted to cover it, I stuck a piece of cardstock, like a huge cardstock behind it. So, and now it's solid white. Um, which is perfect because that's what I need it for. And then right beside it, I have my trash can. I love my trash can and I'm gonna tell you why. I know that's kind of like a weird statement because people don't usually love their trash can, but I love my trash can because it is a motion sensor trash can. So I don't actually have to touch it ever. Like I never, I mean, obviously when I'm taking my trash out, that's the only time I touch it. But it's literally like, 
so cool and it's just like germ free I feel like and it's amazing I don't have to touch it oh this side is a recycling and this side is like the waste side and it has like a little six second timer so I've gotten like to the point where I know exactly how much time I have when I'm trying to throw something out like if I'm like unloading something into the garbage you know I know how long I have but also I could just press the open button and it'll stay open um, or I can press the close button and it'll stay closed every time someone comes over and they like have to go throw something out they kind of get freaked out at first and it's a little funny um, but then they're like damn that's like really cool <laughs> so yeah that's my trash can that I'm in love with next we're gonna move over to the bathroom I normally keep the door closed um, just because but this is my bathroom gonna do a little pan this is my bathroom that's me okay so right to the right of the door we have the light switch I have cabinets from all the way from the ceiling down to the floor. Um, in this cabinet, I have a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> um, I have like all of my body care stuff on this lower shelf. The middle shelf is all makeup. My makeup is kind of just thrown in there. It's very hectic. Um, and then on the top, I have all of my hair products. So there's just a crap ton of hair stuff up there. And then down here, I'm kind of nervous. I don't even want to open this one because I have my wigs and my nail stuff in here. But when I open this <laughs> cabinet specifically, the wigs just like shoot out because there's too many. There's probably like 10 or 12 wigs just shoved in there. So I'm actually not even going to open it. Um, under here I have all of my hair tools so flat irons blow dryers crimpers hot combs literally all of my hair tools are in this basket I got this basket from Walmart um, but yeah that's literally just straight hair tools in here and then in this drawer this drawer is kind of hectic I have all of my hair brushes like combs, clips, um, little headbands, scrunchies. Underneath my sink, I have quite a bit of stuff. So in the back, I have a bucket with all of my cleaning products in there that I use to clean the bathroom. And then I have two more of those bins from Walmart. Um, these, This bin has like my laundry items in it. So I have some Tide Pods, I have a bottle of bleach, some dryer sheets, and then I have Downy Unstoppable, the scent booster beads. This box has straight headbands, scarves, and do-rags in it. I only have one do-rag, but it's like mad headbands, like just headbands, headbands, headbands. There's so many headbands in here. And then in this bin is a bunch of like skincare, um, but it's all products that I haven't opened yet. So these are all unopened, like new stuff that I have yet to get to. And then to the left of that, in this cabinet, I have my toilet tissue and all of my feminine products, pads, panty liners, tampons. Um, and then in this drawer, I have like all of my skincare that didn't make the cut for my skincare that sits out, which I'm about to get to. But like, this is also important. I have makeup wipes in here and stuff and like Advil and, and things like that, so. Okay, so on my bathroom sink, I like to keep it like as minim minimal as possible when it comes to how many things I have out. It does get messier than this. Don't think that this is how it always looks, but I try to keep it as neat as possible. So over here to my right, I just have um, one of these clear acrylic cases and I have like my lip liners and eyeliners and brow pencils um, all up in here. I have some mascaras. I keep my like tweezers in here. I have a bunch of different tweezers and lash applicators and 
nail clippers, I have a pair of scissors, I have, of course, I have my stacked Destiny Shop lashes. Those always gotta be on deck. I have literally every single style, of course, kinda just sitting there ready to go when I wanna throw a pair of lashes on. Um, and then in front of my sink, I have my toothbrush and my hand soap little dispenser. These I both got from Walmart. They're so cute. They have like this marble design. They're not actually marble, but they feel and look like real marble. Like this literally feels so luxe. It's so heavy. I absolutely love it. Um, and it was super inexpensive. Got it from Walmart. If I can find the link, I will have it linked below. Toothbrush, and I got a little mini toothpaste in there because my the toothpaste I actually like brush my teeth with I keep in here, um, which is my charcoal toothpaste, but it doesn't actually fit in here, so I kind of just leave the mini one in there just because, but I brush my teeth with this one every single day. And then to the left of my sink, I have my skincare tray, if that's what you would like to call it. Um, skincare, body care, I use almost all of these products every single day. There are a couple that are probably used more so like weekly, like once or twice a week, but most of these items do get used every single day. I try to always have a candle in here just sitting on this tray, burning. So this one that I have right now is black cashmere. It's a natural soy wax candle infused with essential oils, patchouli, and mahogany. I got this from Burlington. They have some of the best candles and they're always like super cheap I absolutely love Burlington for their candles all of my skincare I absolutely love these items are like the items that I'm always going to grab the most which is why they get to be sitting out on display just for everyone to see how cute and beautiful they are like right behind it I have this little vase that's holding these fake flowers my bathroom doesn't have a window so I don't get any natural light in here so I didn't want to put real flowers and then they died so I put these fake flowers that I got from Ikea and this glass vase that it's in is also from Ikea and I just have that sitting here because I feel like it adds a really nice you know pop of color and just like liveliness to the bathroom despite there being like no natural light coming in I just have my light fixture here that has one of the light bulbs that just went out isn't that splendid like <laughs> love that for me um and then to the left of that i have my toilet that's you know clean and white and just chilling my trash can toilet tissue and above the toilet i have another cabinet in this cabinet i just have all of my towels i have extra washcloths hand towels floor mats and right on the top i have my wax pot and a box of tampons but it's actually empty there's just more wax items in that box <laughs> but that's sitting all right on top of my toilet when you turn around you have my shower this is my shower I have a floor mat sitting here in front of the shower and then I have another one in front of the sink oh and those are my slippers I try to have like you know the same color scheme with everything so it's gray and white in here um, with the little marble uh, so I have this floor mat is from Nordstrom Rack and this one I believe is from Walmart I have my towel and my hand towel sitting here yeah so I think this is my favorite thing um, about my bathroom is actually my shower curtain. I know it's so plain. It's just like a regular white shower curtain, but it's a waffle material, like a waffle knit shower curtain. And it's just so pretty. I don't know, I feel like it gives me like major hotel vibes. I love the feeling of I'm on vacay, but I'm still at home. <laughs> because I do love going on vacation, but I can't go on vacation all the time. So if I can give my 
myself that same luxurious feel that I feel whenever I am on vacay, but in my own home, I feel just so complete and happy inside. So I really, really love this shower curtain. I got it from Target and my little um, hooks that I actually have holding the shower curtain up is also from Target. They're very cute. My favorite thing to take photos in front of too. It gives me like a really clean white background in my bathroom. And then to the left of my shower, I have my washer and dryer in this closet. I do have some dirty clothes in there. <laughs> That's where I throw the dirty clothes when they have to get washed. Like I just throw them in there. Um, I have my Swiffer in here and then I have my broom and I have my vacuum just chilling on the side. So inside of my shower, this is what my shower looks like. I have a really nice big um, shower head that just spews out water very fast and very nice and hot. I love it. And then hanging from that, I have my eucalyptus. I try to actually replace this probably like once a month. I feel like it lasts for about a month in my shower. Every single time I take a really nice warm hot shower the eucalyptus you can literally just smell it in the air smell it in the steam it opens up my pores it opens up my my um sinuses like it's literally it's just so nice to have and i'm pretty sure this is like eight dollars um here in downtown la so i absolutely love showering with my eucalyptus um i have my bathtub this is like a really nice little bathtub it has like the little seat in it so you can really like sit and soak in the tub and then I have my products just chilling in the corner and then exiting the bathroom you know you close the door love a closed door I have my living space here so let me do a little pan for you guys this is a studio apartment, meaning that you know you get one large studio space to kind of share between, you know, a living room and your bedroom. So, this is what my living space looks like. I'm going to go through literally everything, so don't worry. <laughs> but I just want to give you guys a little pan. With walking over here, we obviously have my bedroom area. I just like to call it the living space because like I live in every section of this room. But I have my bed. I have a nice queen size bed. So the vibe and the aesthetic that I was going for with my studio apartment, I wanted it to be very like minimalistic. I didn't want it to be too cluttered in here. I didn't want it to have like too much going on. I wanted it to be very simple and just like very like minimalistic. Like that's literally the word that I just kept saying to myself in my head. So I want it to just be really clean and like everything kind of just like Everything that is out is something that I need and that I use, but is it like too busy or too like hectic, if that makes sense. Even like down to my bed frame, my bed frame is like a very simple um, metal bed frame that I actually got off of Amazon. I really, really love it. It's very sturdy, like it's such a sturdy bed frame. It's actually only like seven inches off of the ground. So I was looking because I wanted like that minimalistic vibe I was looking for something that was going to be like really low to my floors because I kind of just wanted everything to be like really low in here. So I found this bed frame off of Amazon and I ordered it and I absolutely love it so much. My mattress is a queen sized mattress. It's so big and it's so comfortable. It's so nice to sleep on when it's just you, by the way. Like, I literally sleep on it like a starfish. Like, <laughs> it's so comfy. Um, and my comforter set that I have on my bed is actually from Cozy Earth. If you guys were watching my weekly vlogs, I actually showed you guys when I got this. I was grateful enough to work with Cozy Earth and they sent me this beautiful comforter and sheet set um so that is what i have on my bed currently to the left of my bed i have this um i'm gonna say um so much oh my god that's gonna be so annoying i'm so sorry i have this light fixture that i got off of ikea 
I love this light, okay? I have two of them. I actually have this one here, and I have this one over here. And you just tap it and it turns on. Um, and you can like rotate it so that it bounces off the wall, or you can have it like point up. And in the nighttime, it just creates such a nice ambiance. I am all about ambiance, okay? So I absolutely love, 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 love these lights. I tried to order them off of Ikea like two different times and they were sold out for months. Um, and as soon as they went back in stock, I found my way all the way up in Glendale going to Ikea just for these lights. So to the left of this light, I actually have this little shelf unit that I guess you could call it. It's like a shelf unit. I bought this off of Instagram as well, but I will say I was a bit disappointed because it did not come the way that it was photographed or the way that it looked in the picture. And I'm mainly talking about how bright this brass is compared to all of the other brass that's in my apartment. Everything else is pretty much the same color except for this and it bothers me so much. And I was supposed to spray paint it but that never happened because whatever I honestly was ready to like send this back but do you know how much of a headache that would have been it didn't happen so I still love the idea of it I wanted like a little shelf in here kind of like a bookshelf but not really I don't have any books on it <laughs> I currently just have this little candle tea light candle sitting here um, and then I have Two more candles that I cannot wait to burn because they smell absolutely amazing, but also just like the color scheme of them is beautiful, so they might just sit here forever. I have no idea. And then next to it, I have this giant seashell that my best friend Chiny got for me. And when you actually like put your ear to it, you can literally hear the ocean. It's so freaking cute. And then I have one of these rose teddies from Dose of Roses sitting on the bottom shelf. And then I have some camera gear. Um, because right next to it is the camera corner. So I have tripods and um, my giant camera, of course, uh, with my little softbox light. And then right behind it, I have a giant dream catcher. I got this dream catcher from Home Goods, and when I saw it, I fell in love. I was like, oh my God, I need this in my life because in my childhood bedroom that I grew up in, I actually had a dream catcher um, that hung right next to my bed, and I just always love the idea of dream catchers. I actually want to get one tattooed on me um, because I love them so much. To the left, I have my closet. I was actually so surprised when I came to look at this apartment at how big the closet was. I have like a very like big closet for like a studio, but also I want you guys to be mindful of the fact that like I moved here and I didn't move here with much, so my closet is like kind of empty. So yeah, if you were expecting me to have more clothes than this, like I, I don't know what to tell you, but <laughs> this is what my closet looks like. It's a bit hectic, not gonna lie. Um, I try to keep it as organized as possible, but I just have like a bunch of stuff everywhere. So all the way up here, I just have like a bunch of crap in here, you know? Like I have my comforter that's like too hot for my bed right now. And I have extra pillows. I have my carry-on suitcase and I have boxes with some cosmetics in them. <laughs> On this side, I do have like my clothes that would normally probably go inside of a dresser, but I don't have a dresser, so I have them sitting on these shelves. These shelves go all the way up though, and I feel like I don't really need a dresser because I have so much shelving in here. Like, everything always fits, you know? But yeah, that's my closet. And then we're gonna turn this way, and we have a living space. So this is my living space. You guys are actually always asking me where my couch is from. My couch is from Bob's Furniture. 
This couch was a supposed to be, I think it was supposed to be like a dupe for a very, very expensive couch that's like over $2,000. Love this couch so much. Everyone that's come over that sat on this couch has said the same thing, which is, oh my God, this couch is so comfortable. This couch, you literally just wanna melt into it. I remember when I first got it, I slept on it for like a week straight because I was just like, this couch is so comfortable. And you see how close my bed is to my couch and I was still sleeping on the couch. Like that just goes to show, all I had to do was get up and walk to my bed. And I didn't even wanna do that because it's just so comfortable. So I absolutely love this couch. I think this is one of my favorite purchases in my apartment because it was literally worth every single dollar. Um, and I just think it's a very like modern looking couch. It's just so freaking comfy. And then I have these decorative pillows. Um, these two gold pillows are from BB, um, but I did purchase them. BB Home, but I purchased them from Burlington. And then these two pillows that I purchased recently actually are from Home Goods. Um, they're like a mint color and then they have like a slight little metallic um, threaded design all throughout and they go perfectly with my gold pillows right next to it. Um, my couch is sitting on this gorgeous carpet. I actually don't know where this carpet is from but I will have it linked down below for you guys but it gives such a bohemian vibe to this space because it has the tassels on the end and it's a cream color with the gray like diagonal zigzag detail. I absolutely love it so much. Right here in the corner in this little nook that I like to sit at and like I'll sit here and like charge my phone or like edit a video, um, especially with my little lights. In this little nook, I have this light from Ikea, the same one that's by my bed. And then I have these two positive affirmation um, pieces of artwork that I got from Home Goods sitting on the wall. Again, they just kind of go with the whole aesthetic. They're both like that brassy gold color. This one says, if you can dream it, you can do it. And this one says, life is beautiful. Right in front of my couch, I have my TV stand and my TV. TV is from Target, it's an LG TV, and my TV stand is from Ikea. On my TV stand, I normally have like a candle burning. This one that smells absolutely amazing that I also got from Burlington is Sparkling Citrus. This is like the same vase that I have in the bathroom that is holding my fake flowers. Um, it was a set of three that I bought from Ikea. Um, and inside of this one, I have these two little body candles that I bought from an Etsy shop. I absolutely love these, they're so cute. I think they were each less than $10, and I just feel like, you know, it just gives a very womanly, feminine vibe to this entire area. Behind those, I have this vase from West Elm, and inside it, I have some baby's breath. This is real baby's breath. They're not fake, okay? So freaking cute, and just, I feel like the white flowers just really, um, pop like in the gold vase it's very cute and here i have um one of those forever roses that i was gifted and it's sitting inside of another one of these glass vases and i have all of my wine corks so every single time that i open a new bottle of wine i throw the cork in there and i just think it's so freaking cute so this little area right here is one of my faves. Right to the left of that, I have this basket, this woven basket that I got from Target. I really, really, really love this basket. It's so pretty. Um, it's cream colored, of course. It just 
goes with everything. Like, it goes with my floors, it goes with my walls, it goes with the aesthetic of all of my furniture. So this is a throw blanket from Casa Luna. Actually, I don't even think it's a throw blanket. I think it's like a full-size blanket. Um, but this is also from Target. So, you know, when I'm trying to get cozy on the couch, I'll just run over and grab one of these blankets out of my little basket that I have sitting here. And it kind of just like aids in the whole comfiness of the space. <laughs> I have these coasters here, these little gold and like marble looking coasters from Target. I have one sitting here underneath this candle and then I actually have another one next to my bed. And then right beside that, I have some books stacked. These are really here more so for the aesthetic. I finished this book, um, which is a New York Times bestseller. You are a badass, how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. I kind of just like seeing this book sitting here like I like the title of it I feel like it just reiterates like you are a badass like I am a badass like I don't know I love this book I finished it though so it kind of just chills right here um, and then I have a budgeting book that I don't really use um, sitting underneath it and then I have another like self-help book that's just sitting under that and I have them like you know um, and then I usually have like a little tea candle sitting on top of it. These little um, glass tea candle holders I got from Ikea and I got the candles themselves from Ikea. I absolutely love these. I think they're so cute. I like that they have like the texture to them. And yeah, so I have three of those actually. I have one sitting here. I have another one in the middle and then I have another one down here. I have my speaker. This bad boy gets used every single day, all day long. Like, I do not let a day go by that I'm not using my speaker. Um, I love playing music in here. I love listening to music while I do things, edit a video, film a video, clean, cook, like literally just do anything. Like, I have music playing all the time, so. And right next to that, I have my plant baby. This is Patricia the palm tree. She's flourishing over here. She's a little palm tree so she just sits right here next to the TV and then right behind my palm tree I have this um, hourglass that I just bought that I absolutely love oh my gosh I love the idea of things that are just so classic uh, there's something like very like just clean about an hourglass like it's so pretty it has um white sand on the inside and the sand has like little sparkles in it and i literally just like to let it like pour like it's it's doing what it's supposed to be doing <laughs> right over here across from my couch and my tv i have my little dining table this dining table it has brass legs and cream chairs um it's a glass tabletop it's very heavy and very sturdy i must say and i just love that it like perfectly fit into this space that i have because i didn't have like a lot of space originally wanted a round table actually for my dining um, area for where I would sit down and like I usually edit videos here and I eat all of my meals here but then I saw this table and I was like this would actually be perfect it was the perfect size I still have like a lot of wiggle room I normally like if I have you know a meal that I made for me and another person I'll like slide the table out a little bit more just so that like we can sit across from each other or I can like sit um, on either end that way but typically we want to watch TV so <laughs> And then sitting on top of the table, I have these um, candle holders that I got from Ikea. They're like a matte black. And then right beside those, I have these marble coasters. I'm very big on using coasters. I hate seeing rings on furniture. Super heavy from Target. And then on the other side of that, I have a vase with some fresh flowers. I have sunflowers. I have it in this gorgeous vase that I actually purchased here in downtown LA in the, the flower market area. And then along my window, I just have my plants. This baby right here is Georgie. 
And then I have my other plant baby, Eleanor, over here. Um, and I have some candles sitting on the windowsill. This is actually my favorite thing about my apartment. <laughs> this is also, can you believe it or not, this was the first thing that I purchased. Like, before I purchased my bed, I purchased my mirror. <laughs> That is how like obsessed I am with myself that I need I needed to make sure that I had like my full-size mirror Like I literally needed to make sure that she came and that she was gonna be everything that I needed and more so this mirror for everyone that's ever messaged me DM'd me responded to my story literally YouTube commented everything this mirror is from West Elm this is a gorgeous I feel like I think it's like 71 inches tall I'm I'm not don't quote me on that but I'm gonna have it linked below but this beautiful mirror is from West Elm it has a gorgeous brass frame it's extremely heavy this this freaking mirror is so heavy like literally it's not going anywhere <laughs> I decided to put it in this corner because I wanted like something like a little section and kind of take photos in um, I just felt like it was a very cute aesthetic to have I kind of like tried to put it in other areas of the apartment but this was like this was the area so and I have it sitting on this gorgeous woven hand woven rug um, from India actually I don't remember where this is from I believe it's from Wayfair it's a light nice cream color it's a braided rug and it's very soft it just kind of just aids in this little area just kind of like be being very complete and sitting on top of the rug I have this gorgeous vase that I bought from home goods um, this is one of my favorite vases ever it has this gorgeous like textured glaze on it when I got this vase and I put this pompous grass in this vase like I felt like wow like I really am like one of those um, Instagram girls like it's just giving you know very cute you know very cute aesthetic everything is my favorite literally everything is one of my favorite things in my apartment I love every single item I feel like I took my time with trying to furnish this apartment and I wanted everything to make sense and to just go together really well um, and I'm very, very, very pleased with the outcome. So, to the left of it, I have my um, nightstand. This is actually technically not a nightstand because there's no drawers in it. It's just a little side table, but it acts as a nightstand because I don't really feel like I need like a nightstand with the drawers. Like I didn't want something super big and bulky. I also wanted something that would fit the aesthetic of the rest of my living space because everything is together, like everything is in one room. So I got this gorgeous metal side table from West Elm and it's perfect because it's the same exact color as the mirror. So yeah, and then next to my side table, I actually have some canvases. I plan on painting these canvases and uh, having them above my bed. That's essentially why I bought them. But I just haven't really like come up with a solid idea as to what I want to put on them. I don't know if I want them to be like super um, monochromatic and have like the same color scheme as everything else in here or if I want them to have a pop of color. So for right now, they're just gonna sit and like be there because that's okay. <laughs> I have them sitting stacked up against the wall and they're actually covering um, where I have my Wi-Fi plugged in. Alrighty, so that is the completed, fully furnished luxury apartment studio door. <laughs> Comment down below what your favorite piece of decor is. Um, I think mine is my mirror. <laughs> that is number one for me and then definitely my couch. 
I've just been purchasing things over the past year and filling up my space as like time went on and I found the perfect items that I knew that I was gonna be fully in love with and comfortable with spending my money on because I wanted my space to like reflect me and like who I am as a person. So I just wanted my space to just really be somewhere that like I would call home and this is definitely home for me and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed um, stepping into my space. If you guys enjoyed this video, just make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash the like button down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the fam. Turn on your post notifications, all that fun stuff. We are on a road to 100K, so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and share it. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Bye.